What's going on everybody? I'm back with another video. This video is going to be looking at the England squad and how we can fit Emil Smith-Rowe into that squad tactically and what position he might be playing. Now this is completely theoretical and it's my take on how England should line up with him in the starting 11. And before we get into the tactics and the video, please check out both my books. They're online on Amazon and there's links in the description below. So be sure to check out both my books and I'm using efficiency match to make this video. So to start off, we have a back four of Kyle Walker, Stones, McGuire, and Shaw. In our midfield four, we have Mount, Phillips, Rice, and then Emil Smith-Rowe playing on the left-hand side. And then the two forwards will be Kane and Foden. This is how I would line them up defensively with Foden's new position as the false nine in Pep's team and being more accustomed to this role, I think it could really suit him in this young England side. So in the first line of build up against the 4-4-2, I have them playing with three attacking midfielders with Foden dropping deeper, more as a number 10, Mount and Emil Smith row on either side in the half spaces in these crucial areas between four opponents. So essentially these three attacking midfielders would affect four opposing players while playing between the lines and in the half spaces. They would then make up a midfield five at the base being a double pivot and creating an overload in the central corridors trying to vacate the half spaces and wide areas to then be able to progress through those areas. Also giving them security in transition if they need be. Through the wide areas we'd have wide area rondos that would naturally occur from Stones, Phillips, Mount, and Walker. All players who are starting with from the central defender going into the holding midfielder, Mason Mount the attacking midfielder, and Kyle Walker the fullback holding the width. Now on the weak side we'd have asymmetric concepts with different movement than we just saw. We'd have Foden playing higher up the field pinning two defenders. Emil Smith Rowe would then be the free target in our rondo structure with Maguire on the ball. So going forward, the free player would try and be created through Emil Smith Rowe and Luke Shaw playing in the wide area, giving us an option to progress around the opposing team's block. So now moving into the midfield third. We see some wide area rotations. First, we see Kyle Walker coming narrow through the half space, creating a back three in the initial buildup. And Kyle Walker's there for circulation and because of his strong transition qualities in the defensive phase when possession is lost, the defensive transition, his defensive ability is crucial for England to utilize him through the half space when they have the ball in at least the midfield third. Then we see in the wide area, this creates a very large distance between Kyle Walker and Mason Mount. So then this gives freedom for Foden and Mason Mount to interchange their position diagonally and create movements to both facilitate better opportunities for their qualities on the ball and put them in different spaces, which they're well equipped to deal with. So here we have Foden dropping wide as he sometimes would do it at Man City and playing and taking advantage of the space, pulling out midfielders and then joining as Phillips jumping from a holding midfield position and creating a wide structure of three players to then progress the ball further forward. Now when we play an off-centered back three with Kyle Walker still playing deeper, we would then see Declan Rice be able to use his ability to drop into the half space as a deep lying playmaker. Kyle Walker would fan out into the wide area, holding the width, and now we'd have a five-man midfield at the base being Calvin Phillips, Declan Rice joining the back line in their three-man buildup, and now the overload would occur very dominantly between the lines. So this would give them a high level of effectiveness when trying to manipulate their opponents. And then we have the overall team connections with a high level of connections into the pivot and into advanced positions, while in the wide areas it's more vacated. So then the concepts we would include were overloading the middle corridors to then secure transition and use their players like Emil Smith Rowe, Phil Foden and Mason Mount between the lines with their quality on the ball while Kyle Walker and Luke Shaw 
for holding the width, which could then exploit the vacant space left by this massive overload in the offensive positionings between the lines and in the central corridors in general. So I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know your thoughts in the description below. Who would your England 11 be? And I'll see you in the next one.